when you are discussing TRT doses, um, are you referring to the dosages quoted on the vials or are people taking into account the ester weight? TRT and hormone optimization channel. I was on the channel before, so I've been following the channel, watching it every now and then. So be sure to check them out. Consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and you'll be on your way. We're always referring to the dosage on the vial. For starters, you always have to have consistency. Um, as you know, Steve, in any, any random clinical trial, there's always going to be control groups. There's going to be placebo groups. Um, there, the reason for that is you want to maintain a level of consistency. Any type of research that is lacking consistency in controlled environments is completely irrelevant. And that is why we don't use case studies in the same fashion as we do clinical trials, because there are essentially too many variables at play. Once you start adding variables to a formula, such as ester weight, such as complications of mathematical formulas, you're only inviting more issues and potential problems with trying to track, well, if I used an anthate and it was 82% pure, and then I used cypionate and it was only 73% pure, do I account for a margin? No, at the end of the day, your prescription is based on the ester that you are prescribed. So the difference in ester weight is going to be negligible compared to the rate of metabolism and excretion, which comes down to the pharmacokinetics of an individual, because as we age, our ability to metabolize and excrete is diminished due to liver and kidney function beginning to diminish. Younger folks may have a rapid excretion. SHBG is a huge factor as to how quickly you're going to metabolize a hormone. All of those are significantly more important than a 5 to 10% variable in ester weight. So remember, we use numbers to measure consistency over time. Numbers in and of themselves are a roundabout figure for a desired outcome. So 20 milligrams on one individual will give you a different result than 20 milligrams on another individual. Therefore, we know that consistency on cypionate of 20 milligrams gives you X and 30 milligrams gives you Y. We don't need to account for the ester weight of esters and carrier oils and all this other nonsense, you know, solvents and everything else. We just go by the vial uh, when we're discussing dosages. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's clear. And as you know, a lot of people already have a hard time doing conversions in and of itself, just based on what's already written on the vial. So imagine if we had to complicate it with formulas of percentages and ratios. A lot of guys are uh, writing, I'm injecting 40 milliliters uh, each day, so. 40 milliliters, you know, 15 cc's. I mean, you get all these, people don't understand units and percentages. Now try to explain ratios and percentages of actual ester weights and volume. So no, forget that. Keep it simple. Right. All right, guys. Well, do this next. Click on one of these thumbnails to learn a ton more about TRT and hormone optimization. Thanks.